Oh yeah, definitely. There's no rush. We're, yeah. we're all awesome. I don't want anything to like not be loaded when I finish. <laughs> Let's talk back in the nice. Oh yeah, cool. <clears throat> and uh, you should be good. I wouldn't do uh, presenter view. Just hit slideshow. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so hi. Um, my name is Devin Gatt, and this is my senior project. <laughs> which was what are the steps to running an alumni soccer game fundraiser at Mills High School. Um, I always knew I wanted to do something soccer related ever since I heard about the senior project. I've been playing soccer ever since I could basically walk, so it was definitely something that I wanted to do with that. And I wanted to incorporate a lot of the young people as well as the people who previously experienced soccer and loved it so much, so yeah. Um, so just an overview of my project. Um, I'm just gonna talk about why I decided to do it, my planning process, process my mentor, <coughs> the fundraising process, game day, struggles and successes, and then my final takeaways. So for my timeline for my project, in November, I kind of started like everybody else. I started writing my research report. I started formulating a plan, talked to Liv, talked about what I was gonna do. Um, January to March was kind of like the time where I started recruiting players, I started recruiting alumni, uh, current players, people that I wanted to be part of this, um, people that I needed for help, including like Mr. Finney, Mr. Grant. Um, March to April was kind of crunch time, making sure that things were open and in check because you know all I'm hearing about is people like, oh, I haven't started anything for my senior project, and I'm like, am I good? Do I need anything else that I have to do? Like that kind of thing. Advice for you juniors: don't say this at the last minute. Don't do it. <laughs> Um, and then May 1st was my actual game day, so that was right, right at the beginning of May, and then also starting my presentation. So I chose this because over kind of like a year ago on Mills Beautification Day, I was with Liv, and she suggested it to me because she was like, I thought this would be a really fun idea, like what do you think? And I was like, this is great, it kind of just stuck. Um, I thought it would be really, really fun, and again, I wanted to do something soccer related, so I thought that this would be a perfect Um, what I wanted to achieve out of this project, I wanted to bring something positive back into the community, so I wanted everyone to be happy, and they were pretty happy, so um, those are my sophomores. Um, I wanted to raise money for the soccer program, that was my ultimate goal, I wanted to put some money back in there, because we always have like broken equipment, the nets aren't ever really that great. Um, as you all know, if you've ever seen the Millis High School field, we could use some improvements on the Millis High School football field slash soccer field, so anything that could help with that. And I wanted to make an impact um, before I graduate that could hopefully continue in the future, so I wanted an alumni game to continue in the future. If possible, I would totally come back as an alumni and play, so um, that is something else I wanted. Um, my project relates to the Millis Core Values and Beliefs um, in a couple ways. I just highlighted them. Um, I highlighted that it was an in-play tool, personal and social growth while it's learners. So this was something that helped me intellectually because it um, gave me the ability to kind of sit down and plan something out and organize an event, which is something I've never really had to do before without help. Um, personal and social growth, uh, basically I had to, with social I had to talk to so many new people that I had never talked to before, other than like Liv and Miss Hilton. I haven't really talked to any of the alumni, I didn't know any of them. Um, whether I had seen them in past years, I still didn't really know them. So being able to interact with them, email them, sound professional, I didn't want to sound like, oh, this is kind of just whatever, casual thing. And it was a personal growth because it taught me a lot of stuff about myself, how I work best, how I am able to organize events the best. Um, and then I also highlighted that it was self-directed, respectful, and responsible. So everything was self-directed, like I needed help from people, but everyone was dependent on me, so if I didn't, email somebody or text them or that I needed them, they didn't do anything. So that was something that I maybe regret a little bit because there were times where I kind of saved things to the last minute. Um, and it just taught me to be more responsible, not procrastinate, try and work my best on how to do those things. So for my research reports, all of my research topics kind of helped me in one way or another. I was easily able to relate them back to my um, project in my final paper when going back, because you know, I remember Mr. Carter would kind of say like, if your research reports weren't really used, don't put them in your final paper because you didn't use them, you know, kind of thing. So I wanted to make sure that my research reports were something that I would actually end up needing. Um, so I kind of, just a couple examples of research topics like procrastination, how not to procrastinate, because I procrastinate a lot. Um, 
uh, creating a team, so basically people that were gonna help me, people that were gonna give me the supplies and tools that I needed, and then just how to give a presentation. I looked up a TED talk actually on how to give a good presentation, so hopefully I'm doing okay. <laughs> um, and again, I was easily able to relate this research back to my project. So for approval, I needed many people's approvals for, that was a funny picture. <laughs> I needed many people's approvals for different things um, during this project. For example, Mr. Finney, Mr. Grant, Mr. Audicki, Mr. Carter, like I needed, you know, like is this a good idea? And then, you know, we obviously had to propose the idea to you guys, being like, would this be something that I should do? Um, Mr. Grant, he helped me with being able to actually book the field. I should, probably should have put the, um, the ladies in the office because they were the ones that helped me with filling out form to actually, you know, get the field for myself. Because I did it, I mean, in like January maybe, so I had the field booked for a really long time, so hopefully nothing changed. And then Mr. Finney, I mean, he was great. He helped me with like a ton of different things, like, you know, the big speaker that we use for all the football games and all that, and the scoreboard, and getting into the press box and all that stuff. And everyone was very generous and very helpful. So my mentor this year was Alyssa Tolley, right there. Um, she was an amazing mentor. Um, she showed me a lot of strategies on how to make this process easier for myself. Um, she gave me a lot of advice that, and a lot of uh, points of view that I probably wouldn't have thought of on my own because I'm very like, it's my point of view, I'm not gonna do anything else, but she helped me kind of open my eyes a little bit and that's me and her. <laughs> So starting off the planning process was somewhat difficult, just considering I have <coughs> never done anything like this before. You know, for our, so our sophomore presentation research paper kind of had the whole like kibosh on that because we didn't really get to present because of COVID. So which was kind of kind of awful. But <laughs> I started getting lists of possible players who would want to participate, um, alumni who want to participate. I wrote a ton of emails. I wrote so many emails. Um, so keeping track of those emails was kind of hard for me because on top of that, I would get, you know, students in here know you get an email from Google Classroom every time you get an assignment. So, you know, my emails flooded all over and just trying to keep track of everything. Um, Liv and Ms. Hilton were a huge help because they kind of, a lot of the alumni that were participating in this were from their class. So they kind of helped me get those people to come in and participate in the event. The fundraising process was not as difficult. Um, I kind of used just admission prices and donations if people were looking to uh, donate. All of the proceeds, again, went to the Noah soccer program. Um, I ran into some struggles because I had to reimburse the boosters because all the t-shirts that you see the, the players wearing, they actually gave me a check to buy those t-shirts, so I had to reimburse them the money for that, but Tri-Valley Sports kind of got me a good deal because I was like, hey, I'm doing this, and they were like, oh, that's so great, and they you know, kind of gave me that. And they also had to reimburse myself because I bought like waters and Gatorades, just like normal stuff, but I wanted to make sure all those calculations were correct. And then we, with everything, the grand total that we raised was $860. So actual game day was definitely the most stressful, but it was still super, super fun. I enjoyed playing in it myself. It was great. Um, I mean, you can't really see him right there, but that's Mr. Zatoli. He did all of the announcements. He would like randomly play Eye of the Tiger while the game was going on. It was great. <laughs> um, the girls were super helpful. I had them all show up early. They didn't even question it when I asked. They showed up early. They helped me set up the nets because they're the only ones who know how to do it um, and all that. And then everyone showed up on time. We had access to everything we needed thanks to Mr. Finney and Mr. Grant. And, um, we got some really, really great feedback from the alumni themselves saying that like, we need to get more people, we need to do this again, like this was great, I'm so excited. Um, those are just some pictures, thanks to, I should do my thank yous, but thanks to Marie Gavon because she came out, like she texted me the night before and was like, do you need my help? And I was like, could you take pictures? And then she showed up with like a whole camera mm -hmm. and took a bunch of pictures. She's got a lot of really great shots in there, some more. That's Jordan Ferentino, who also showed up last minute because she saw it on my Instagram story, so I'm happy that she came. So this is a post-game interview with Liv oh, and <laughs> your baby. Okay, so how do you think the game went overall? The game was fun. Uh, I think the alarm had a slow start. The second win, uh, really a lot of faith but it was very fun. Um, and then
One more time. <laughs> there we go. Just some obstacles I faced. I had some people dropping out before the game day, getting all the equipment set up, kind of wrangling all the players to do it, which was kind of hard. Um, finding a referee. I didn't find a referee until like two days before. Thanks to Mr. Finney. Um, calculating the funds, like I said before, was kind of difficult, and just trying not to procrastinate overall. My successes, I achieved my goal of bringing something positive back to the community. Again, everyone looked pretty happy there. The event day ran, ran way smoother than I thought it was going to. I got great feedback from the alumni, and I finished the project, which is kind of an accomplishment because there are some people who don't finish the project. Uh, it caused me to be more responsible this project and independent. It gave me life skills for the future. It helped me connect with past alumni who I didn't know, and it taught me how to run an event on my own. Just quick thank yous to Liv, Mr. Finney, Mr. Grant, Millis Boosters, Maria for taking the pictures, the alumni, the players who participated, and just my family, because my dad like literally did so much that day. <laughs>